Hands up everyone who has worked on their cars while the temperatures outside are below freezing. Hey there guys and gals and willkommen Sie auf den B4A Kanal. So what we're doing today? Today we're doing something that is super easy, kind of boring, but it's definitely worth your while because it's one of those little details that helps your car look that much better and you know, stand out even more. But it's also something functional that's going to help prevent rust on your car. So what I'm talking about? I'm talking about restoring your wheel wells. And today we're going to get them from looking like this. To looking like this. Now, isn't that better? Now, I didn't even consider doing this job. I actually didn't even know I had to do it until I started restoring my suspension, which is why this video is part of my whole suspension restoration series. Uh, when did I realize I need to restore the wheel wells? Was when I started restoring and powder coating of my suspension components. And then I realized that the horrible, dirty, grimy, ugly wheel wells are going to be in stark contrast to my super fancy restored suspension components. Now the steps we are going to take to restore the wheel wells are actually there, there are three steps. Number one is cleaning the wheel well. Number two is addressing and removing rust. And number three is recoating the wheel wells. Now cleaning the wheel wells is definitely the most tedious and boring task and it's going to take by far the most time in this job. Now this is how I do it. Uh, I get a heavy duty degreaser and spray it all around the wheel well. Then I let it sit for 10 or 15 minutes depending on the instructions on the can to let the degreaser do its thing. Once it loosens up the dirt I get some very uh, hard you know brushes, either hard plastic or, or some other type of very you know, tough brush and then I start brushing the, the dirt to even loosen it even more you know, and help, help it get easily removed in the next step which is getting my uh, washer attachment which is actually a washer and a canister attached to my compressor and getting a mixture of water and car shampoo maybe 50-50 depending on the type of shampoo and washing down all the dirt and grime. I then rep repeat this procedure. In the case of my wheel wells, I needed to repeat it three or four times for each wheel well to remove and get it reasonably clean. Now, of course, all of this stuff that the greaser and uh, you know the other chemicals we'll be using are definitely you know harmful to you. So protect your eyes, protect your face protect everything you can protect. Now, once you get the wheel wells reasonably clean, now be aware it's not possible to clean them perfectly and get them, you know, to showroom conditions with just this simple procedure. But once you get them very reasonably clean, and that means no visible dirt, no visible grime, no visible disgusting things, it's time to address the rust. Now, to address the rust uh, on the car, it's very important to remove any plastic covers because you know rotting leaves water and what other things love to get trapped beneath these plastic covers and then they just hang there and cause your car to rust my particular car uh, is actually famous for rusting right here in the spot and as you can see once I remove the plastic cover it's exactly here that I found some pretty obvious rust now according to the previous owner this car has been entirely repainted around four years ago and just four years was enough to cause some pretty visible rust in this spot. Now removing the rust is a very well-known procedure. What you gotta do is grind away the rust and then paint it with a nice high quality primer. Now rust can also uh, form underneath the thick protective coarse you know, coating of the wheel wells. And what you need to do in that case is grind some more to grind away first the coating and then you grind away the rust and then, just as in the previous case, apply the primer and let the primer dry. 
Now, once the primer dries fully and everything is clean, it's time to recode the wheel wells. Now, there's a lot of different products out there for the purpose of recoding your wheel wells, and I found this one to work really well. I like it for a couple of reasons. Reason number one is that it creates a rubber-like, long-lasting, flexible coating, and this resists stone chips, water, and pretty much anything else that will be thrown at the wheel wells, you know, in road driving conditions. The other great thing about this particular product, it, product is that it actually bonds to the surface really well, even when the surface isn't very perfectly clean. And that's really nice because you will definitely probably, you know, miss a few little tiny pieces, you know, of dirt or something else on your wheel well. But don't worry, this one is going to grab onto it and stay there and it's going to be all lasting. Now, definitely read the instructions on your particular product. In the case of my product, it calls for three layers of coating with about 20 minutes of rest between the layers, letting it dry and they all have to be applied in a different direction. Now, once the coating has dried and you have rinsed out your plastic covers, you can behold the amazing result on your wheel wells. And there you have it. Now your wheel wells won't embarrass the rest of your suspension and the whole package should look amazing. And there you have it guys, that's pretty much it when it comes to restoring your wheel wells. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon on the D4A channel.